Hey, this is Benji from Rudderstack. Today, we're going to show you how to send data from your website to Customer.io in under five minutes. From the Rudderstack.com website, go ahead and sign up for a free account. And all it takes is your email address. And we're going to set up a demo for you today. And once you confirm your email address, which we will do offline, it will take you to the Rudderstack application. And we're going to set up a new connection using the JavaScript SDK. Go ahead and take a note of the data plane URL. That's going to be important uh, when we go to, to, to update our website form. So click on add a new source and we're going to use the JavaScript. Click on JavaScript to create a new JavaScript source. All it requires is a, is a unique name here. Another thing to highlight here is the right key. We will also need that uh, for our website to make sure our data gets to the right place. So we're going to go ahead and create a connection to Customer.io. And we've already set up our Customer.io uh, demo account uh, prior to starting this. And we're going to use our sample source that we just set up a second ago. The site ID and API keys can be found within the customer IO setup. And we don't need to transform this data. So we're going to hit the no transformations needed button. And this will complete the setup of our connection. And there you have it, our connection uh, within Rudderstack. We've got some great documentation uh, on rudderstack.com, which you can also access from the JavaScript sample source itself. It'll take us directly to the code snippet that we're gonna use for our web form. So this is a web form we've just built in our, our Git repository. It's a simple web form to collect email addresses and a few hidden properties. So we need to add the JavaScript SDK snippet to the header of our web form HTML page. And we've already loaded that here, but we do need to add the right key and the data plane URL. So the SDK knows where to send the data. So we'll head back on over to the app and pull the data plane URL from our main connections window and just paste that in there. And then we'll also use the right key and the right key comes from the source itself. So we're gonna pull the right key and copy and paste that into there. And after we save that, the only thing we need to do is modify our event handler so that it knows to pass an identify call to the Rudder Analytics SDK itself. And once we've saved that and prior to testing, it is helpful to go back in and run on multiple screens or split screens, the live event viewer within the Rudder Stack application. We've run a few tests earlier so now we're going to go ahead and submit a new email address and wait for that identify call to show up in our event viewer. There we have it. And now we can see the JSON packet that's passed and this is coming in through the source. And now we want to confirm that this event made it all the way through and created a new record within customer IO. So let's head on over to customer IO, give it a quick refresh. And now we can see that user and the custom trait uh, show up in customer IO. So there you have it, sending data from your website to customer IO in under five minutes. If you'd like to give this a shot, head on over to rudderstack.com, sign up for a free account and check out the documentation. Thanks a lot.